Alright, so we're in a 39 SR Cherokee again. I'm just going to show you uh, some slide safety, some tips, um, and how to keep you know, keep you from damaging anything, show you how to run everything in before you travel with it or uh, before you take off going down the road with it. Um, <clears throat> first off, you want to always make sure everything's strapped in. Uh, like your table, your table does have a, a strap connected to it. The table itself is nailed into the floor, so it's not going to go anywhere. You have a strap down here that you run around all four legs of each chair, um, strap it in, and that just makes sure the chairs don't take off while you're going down the road with it. Um, you do have the bar stools that sit right here. You'll flip those upside down, stick them back here. Um, they will ride like that. So make sure that's strapped in, and then everything's good there. Um, over here, uh, strap the fridge in. You can wrap this any fashion you like. Just make sure you wrap the strap around the door handles so if it opens up, it's not going to fling open, um, do anything crazy. You do have anchor points. You'll have one right there, and then you'll have one down low right here. And then it'll just snap shut. So make sure it's fastened down so the fridge doesn't go anywhere. Um, and that's it. That's it for the kitchen. So you'll come in here to the living room. All you got to do is just make sure these chairs are turned exactly like this. Make sure they're turned long ways. And then you have a strap. The strap connects back here. Runs around the chairs and then connects on this side. And that just keeps the chairs from scooting out. And then since they're turned long ways, that opens up space for these slides to come in so you don't tear the chairs up. And everything will run in just like that. Another thing to remember is back here, always make sure that your cabinet doors are shut. Um, if you have one open, you run this slide in, it will grab that cabinet door. Uh, could rip a handle off, could rip the whole door off. So always just do a visual check, make sure everything's shut, and then other than that, that's it for the living room. You'll be ready to go. Um, uh, this, is your, this is your button to run the slides in. You have four slides on this one, so you're going to have the one in the kitchen, you have the two in the living room, one in the bedroom. This button will run all four of them in. Um, starting from the front. So it's going to do the kitchen first. It'll do these two after that in the living room. Then it'll do the bedroom. Um, the only thing you need to remember is make sure you stay plugged in while it's running all the slides in. That's drawing a lot of power. Um, it'll, just, it'll just work better that way. So make sure you stay plugged into your shore power um, to your 50 amp. That just helps the slides run better. But that is how you do it. Um, you can see it says in and out right there. Get a good view of it. Up is in, down is out. That's all there is. And then if you come in the bedroom here, like I said, that button is going to run all four of them slides. This is a slide as well. The only thing to remember in here, make sure the cabinets are shut. As long as the cabinets and everything are shut down through here, everything will run in nice and fine. Um, make sure you fasten everything like I just explained, and you guys will be ready to take off down the road with it.